What's up everyone, Jack from the Galactic here here, and today's video is going to be something super fine and interesting. I'm not sure how well it's going to go over, but next to me, I'm going to show you, kind of show you guys, but this is a slab, like a pile, of all of my quote-unquote rare, expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Of course, not all of them are super expensive. There are some also in binders too I had to go through. But of course, they're not all expensive, but or rare in some cases. Better cards that are, um in my collection that are either worth a lot of money, or is significant value to me personally, or both, or that I just like the um something about. But um, I came across this video on um, this video. I did catch me from my friend, my friend Draken over on Draken's Multiverse. Subscribe to his channel too. But um, he came up with this video idea for me because it's like I own a lot of really expensive cards. And it'd just be a good idea to document um, my expensive cards at least once a year or so. So I can kind of keep up uh, up to date with all my cards that I own that are worth quite a bit. So I decided that was a good idea. And we're going to start doing this probably like once a year. Or if you guys want to see whatever cards I own um, that are so, that are pretty expensive. Or in case you just want to see cards, um, whatever cards I own. But we're first going to start the video off with um, my signed cards that I got from you guys. Um, so we got this, um, Dreadside Harvester. Um, I don't remember who signed most of these cards, because I don't really keep a list of people who signed what cards. I should probably check though at some point. But I got a signed copy of Dreadside Harvester, Hollow, and his limited edition. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, we got a signed copy of My Fairy Charmer, um, uh, Familiar Possessed Win. Which was super awesome. And this card is probably one of my favorite signed cards that I own. Because I really wanted a Boral Old Rider Dragon when this set came out. And I could not pull one. And I ended up getting a message from somebody, from the guy who signed it, asked, uh, telling me that he had one and he was willing to trade it to me. So I asked him to sign it for me. And he was willing to send me another copy unsigned, which was super nice of him. Even though I didn't really need it for a deck, I just wanted it. And I just wanted, um, since he was willing to trade it to me, I got him to sign it for me. Which And this card, even though it's not worth much of anything, to me, it's worth more than anything else. Uh, most, it's pretty much to me, it's very expensive to me. Just because it holds a lot of value knowing that it was a card I wanted and a subscriber, one of you guys gave it to me. And that honestly made my day. Um, what else do I have? Uh, I didn't actually put the set cards over here because I think I'm not using them for the video. But I decided to kind of just, um, so just kind of um, wing it. Next card up, my Boa Man signed. A lot of them are signed by the same people. Just because I like, they have multiple cards that I want it signed. Like, um, to go with the, to go with the Possessed Win. I also have Dark. And I have Hita. I just need, I just need someone to, sign, um, to have a familiar, um, familiar Possessed Asa. Um, I need Asa, I need, um, Area, and I need, um, Light to be signed as well. Then I have a complete, um, set of signed, um, Possessed Charmers. Of the familiar Possessed, um, Charmer Monsters. Which would be super awesome. And then the next, um, set I'm trying to complete is the, uh, I have a copy of Raging Area signed. I need Raging... Asa, Raging Wen, and Raging Hita to be obviously signed as well. Then I'll complete some of that as well. Super cool. Like I said, most of these hand cards aren't worth much of anything. But as to me, this is more of a collection thing. Just knowing that you guys sign cards and we're able to add to my collection. That I find super awesome. Next up, we got um, the card by Solid Plays Games. Probably, I think it's one of my first signed cards, I think. Maybe. But uh, it's a Flame Swordsman Hollow from when I um, traded um, support my cards to her for her bulk, um, for her Yu-Gi-Oh collection, which was super cool. Then we also got a Hero Kid, one of my favorite cards. I, I don't know why I like Hero Kid. I just always did. And I play him in most of the Hero Decks that I play. Um, I used to play. So I don't play him anymore in Hero Decks because he's not really good. But back in the day, I used to play this card a lot in most of my decks. Him with Bowman were... To me, it was him, Bowman, and the White Dragon of Raw 
are super cool, and I don't think I own a copy of Raw, not think about it. I probably think I own, I think I own probably like one copy of them, of One Dragon of Raw, but I would like one signed at some point in time. Then we got one of the more recent cards that got signed, um, which was this um, Gaga Ga Magician Ultimate Rare. Um, I don't remember... Oh, I remember seeing this card in my, um, one, my, one of you guys' um, trade binders, and I've always wanted this card, even though it's not worth much of anything. At least that's not checked, it wasn't worth much. But um, most all my friends had this card, and I never had an Ultimate Rare before um, I got my um, Insector Ultimate Rares for my birthday from my friend. So getting, having this card signed by one of you guys was super awesome for me, and when I seen it, I was like, I must have this card signed. So, super awesome. Thank you for that. I appreciate all, every one of these science cards that I own. And of course, I own um, three copies of Mike and the Citadel, signed by Team Samurai X1. Um, of course, I'm not taking those out because they're in decks. Uh, and I don't fight digging around for them. And one final card that I have that isn't signed. Well, a few other cards that, I have that aren't signed. Are, that I enjoy. Are this copy of Bow Blaster. Which is just bow blaster, super awesome for me. Um, fake hero, the go with the galactic hero thing, because fake heroes. I honestly like the I honestly like the artwork of fake hero. It's so awesome. And then we got one of the um one of my favorite element hero monsters, elemental hero inferno. I just like the way the guy looks. The guy looks super awesome. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my signed cards and cards I just think are really cool. Um. Well, then, if you watched the last the last video, trade video, they also got a copy of Neo, Neo Bowman that I haven't seen yet, put it somewhere. Next up are two cards that I got from my ex that I just really like. Oh, well, one of them anyways. There's Mud Kip. I don't remember where I got this card from, to be honest. I don't know where this card came from, but all I know is this Mud Kip is my life. I will protect him with my life if I have to. He is so cute, and I love him so much. I don't know where this guy came from, but I love him. And I will protect him with everything I with everything that I hold dear. I love him. And my, plus my kid, my favorite um my kid is one of my favorite Pokemon. This card was given to me by my ex one day. I don't know where the heck we were. I think we were like um the um plan talk in Gulfport, Mississippi. It's like a little um anime show, store store, whatever. And she got this for me as a surprise, which was super awesome. And I love this card. It's so cute. I love Swampert. Uh, in case you didn't know, Swampert is my, is my favorite Pokemon. So, yeah. Um, Next up are cards I got through trades. Um, Just so you know, they're probably, I won't show the price on, on screen because I'm not doing all that. But I do have my iPad next to me with all the prices kind of like um, in my photo, photo gallery. So I can kind of reference uh, them as I need to. But we got some cards that I kind of got that aren't really worth much of anything, but I kept in the slap because I thought they were really cool. We got a um, an ultra rare snatch deal from MRL, which I thought was pretty cool. I got this also from Sally. Um, I got all three of the cards I'm going to show next from Sally. So thank you to Sally Plays Games because honestly, these cards are super awesome. And I never want to copy a snatch deal, so it's super cool to have one. Next up will be. Relinquished from um, Structure Deck Pegasus, along with a Black Illusion Ritual from MRL. Again, two cards that I never owned before. So, you know, super cool to have them. I don't plan on trading them anytime soon, or if I'm going to trade them at all, I kind of just keep them in my collection just to kind of add just pieces. I kind of put them into like a little ETB, which is back here. And I kind of forgot they were in there until I will make this video, so. I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet, actually. But still super cool, though, cards to have. And then we got a Wonder One from Generation Force, Ultimate Rare. This card's worth, like, $4 if it was, like, in um, really good condition. Well, it was moderate played condition. So I'll say it's why it was, like, um, $4, around $4, 3 somewhere around that, around that price, for instance. It's, it's kind of, like, a little bit of whitening. So it's not really high value, but it's still an Ultimate Rare card, which is super awesome. And I love it. Next up are some Nagasong Tim the heavy the heavy hitters. 
Um, I guess we'll go just kind of in order that I have them currently on my desk. Um, actually, no, I'm kind of messing around. I think go out of order. Next up is three copies of um, Aluber, the Jester of Despia. This card was like, um, I think it was called like 60 bucks when I first um, pulled it from, um, I don't remember what set it was. Give me a second. I have, oh, here. They're from Dawn of Majesty. They were like sixty dollars, I think, at uh, one point or higher, and I pulled one of them because I think about getting just um desperate, but here getting him was like really hard for me since I'm a budget player. So I was like, uh, if I pull three copies of them, I'll play it. I ended up pulling one, and was like, okay, if I pull another one, then I'll make desperate. A couple days later, I pulled copies two and three, so that was pretty cool to have an entire playset of all three of them before they got reprinted. Now the card only works like um, $14 currently, um, which is still pretty, not bad, but it wasn't their pro, uh, their hype value at the time of like 60, 60 plus dollars. So it's kind of like they fell in price, but I still don't care. I still have like having the original print and of them being secret. Still pretty cool. Next up is my one and only copy of Baron de Fleur. This card is currently an $80 card. I pulled two copies of it from like, I pulled two copies of this card from like a handful of um, Legendary Duelists, um, the Speed Door set. I've pulled like two copies of it. The first one was, um, I, tra I traded the second copy that I pulled to my very first um, trade, my um, to my very first, not subscriber, but subscriber trade being Jagger. So, and that kind of got some enough, like almost like two months. And I was really scared because I didn't really care about the, uh, the cards being lost. I was more or less worried about him getting the Baron to Flare. Because I know that card was like $100 at, some, at one point. And I really wanted him to have it because he asked me for it. And we made a big trade for it and everything. And plus, it was our very first trade. And I didn't want my very first trade to end in a disaster. But he was super cool with it and super patient because his stuff also got lost in the mail. And luckily, they got sent back to us. Um, to us and we were able to send him out properly with shipping and things went smoothly and i'm happy to say that he's still trading with me to this day so it's super cool that it didn't ruin his faith in me to keep trading with me because that would have been kind of a bummer so thanks to you thanks jagger i appreciate you man and thank you for being my first trade because you're super awesome dude next up on the list we have where is it I have pulled this card from every, almost every 10, um, not 10, mystery power box that I've opened off, off camera, being my Ghost Rare, um, Scarlet, um, Scarlet, Red Dragon Archfiend. I have pulled so many copies of this card. I've pulled like three of them. I kept one. I gave two away to somebody. I don't remember what it was. I know I gave, I traded one away at a comic book shop. Uh, when I went to a locals, then I went traded, gave the other one away to I think to my friend or something, I believe. But I didn't know this card was worth ninety dollars. Um, it's from Dimension of Chaos. I've pulled every time I open up a mystery power box off camera. I have always, always, always pulled one of these cards, and it's crazy that I pulled three of them. Cause like I don't know what other ghost rares are in that set, but I've pulled three of this. And it blows my mind every, uh, knowing that this card is like a $9 card now. Still super awesome though. I play in um, at Emancipator. But I don't know. I, it's just kind of crazy that I pulled this card multiple times from like off camera. But can never pull it on camera. So yeah, that's... Um, move on to the next one. Next up, we got... Pokemon stuff. Just two quick Pokemon. Um, yeah, a lot more Pokemon stuff than this, but we got one of my favorite Pokemon cards, Suspicious Food Ten. This card is never been expensive, it's only like worth three dollars from Champions Path. But this is the card I wanted, but I ended up pulling another card you see later in the video that my friend hates me for, because he's the one that bought me the box when I pulled that really expensive card that I own now. Well, that card. But yeah, this is the only card. I, this is the card I wanted from um, Champions Path. It's not worth much of anything, except for it's only worth like three dollars. So I went to the comp, um, plan talk with my ex, and I found one, so I bought it because this is the only card I wanted for Battle Styles, to be honest. 
Um, so Battle Stars, Champion's Path. This was the only card I wanted when it got announced. I was like, I want this card. It's kind of goofy, but I like all the goofy um, item um, gold rares. Because I think they're just really funny. The, the fact that a random item got a gold rare. Speaking of random items getting a gold rare, the next card up that we that my ex-girlfriend pulled on camera is the Quick Ball Gold Rare. This card is worth $30. Again, like I said, I like random items being gold rare. So to me, it's really funny. And the fact that we put it on camera together was even funnier. And like the only collab video we did together. So it's like it's really funny that she put this on camera. So a very good moment for me. Next up will be my copy of Forbidden Droplets that I own. Um, I don't actually remember when I pulled this card, to be honest with you. I was kind of looked through like this one day and randomly found it, and it threw me off guard. Um, because I don't actually remember pulling it, but it's a $28 card from Battle of Legends, Secret Rare. Like I said, I don't really have a story for this card because I don't actually remember pulling it. But if you guys remember me, pull me, me pulling this on camera, if I did, uh, let me know because I don't actually remember, remember where this card came from. And it's kind of shut up one day and I was like, cool, I have one. Kind of weird. But yeah, sorry, I, I wish I could give you more um, context on this card, but I don't actually know where this card came from. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next up, we got this copy of Divine Arsenal Double A Zeus um, Sky Thunder. I didn't pull this card. Uh, most cards in my uh, in this stack of expensive cards, I have pulled myself. This one I did not. My ex also pulled this one for me. While we were at lunch one day, um, we were at we we're working at Walmart. And we went to, uh, we we're going to Kane's, and I ended up finding some packs of um, Phantom Rage, and I think they were about like ten packs. And we were sitting in line at Kane's in the drive-through. She wanted to open up a pack, so I gave her one, and she pulled this card for me. And I was in the car screaming like a little girl because I was super excited. So yeah, um, this card is currently worth thirty-five dollars. Um, but you know. Uh, I think it's really cool. I like the artwork of it. This card is also being played in, in Insectors currently. Because sitting on, you know, if they can bear me, whatever, summon, um, summon this Exceeds Monster, summon this card, then just sit on it. Still, it's, uh, to me, it's just a really good card. I love it. Next on the list is Life Twin stuff. We have a th uh, my very first um, Starlight Rare card being live twin lilla treat this card is currently worth 110 dollars from blazing vortex this was my very first starlight rare that i pulled i believe i pulled it off camera because i think it was before i saw the youtube at this point but i pulled it because i was debating on building um live twin or evil twin and i pulled it and i was like okay i guess i'll build the deck since somebody want me to, somebody out there wanted me to build this deck, so I stopped to build it because they bust me with a starlight. Super cool, to be honest with you. This is being played in my last one deck. Well, um, with the next card on the list being where is she? Evil Twin Trouble Sunny. I believe this is the only starlight red we put on camera, and it's like in that video. It's like the second, like the first or second pack we pulled. We open up on on that um in that video. And I was kind of lost for words on that video because I was expecting to pull a Starlight Rare that early in the video, or at all, for that matter. This card is currently worth almost $200. So, yeah. Uh, these cards are really holding value, which is super awesome. Not my most expensive card, but you'll see what my most expensive card is. It's a card that I will never trade, no matter how much offers I get for it, even though I'm getting, still getting offered for that card today. But, yeah, this card is super awesome. Um, there's not really much like I can say about it. It's a Starlight Rare that I pulled on the camera, so it's super awesome. I love pulling expensive cards on the camera since you guys see my reaction and I can kind of get feedback from you guys. Next up, we have two copies of Borlode Savage Dragon from Savage Strike, currently worth about $16. Um, yeah, they are just Borlode Savage Dragons. Two of them. I pulled one. 
off camera the second one i believe i got through a trade or something i don't remember entirely but yeah two boiled oak savage dragons super cool not really much to say about that you know how good this card is next up is um underworld goddess of the closed world this card is currently worth about 13 dollars it's just a really good card of like interruption and i use it in uh what's that called unchained because it also gives me another free link material to use my point slot was super cool um i didn't really think this card would be that good to be honest with you but in unchained it's really broken in my opinion but it's whatever it's uh gene it's kind of like more or less a generic link um five monster or four yes yeah, five never mind but um yeah i like this card i don't think think I thought it'd be more more like higher in the list and more expensive, but um kinda surprised me actually. I thought it'd be like more like around like twenty dollars to be honest with you. Weird. Next up, along with my Baron Duffler. Another card that I pulled within a handful of packs of Synchro Storm. I think I pulled this card within like like 10 packs of Synchro Storm. Along with Baron Defleur being my Ghost Rare Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. This card is currently worth about $20 and is super awesome, to be honest. It's just a super awesome card that I love. Um, I didn't really, really expect to get the Ghost Rare one. I was kind of aiming for like the, uh, the um, it's like Ultra Rare version copy. But having this as a Ghost Rare was super awesome for me. Since I like having Ghost Rare cards. And to me, this thing just looks super awesome as a Ghost Rare. Thought it'd be more expensive, but it's whatever. Kind of dropped in price, though, to be honest with you. But I'm not really worried about it too much. Because, like I said, I'm not really good at prices. So, you guys are kind of my price people, since you guys know a lot more about prices than I do. And you can let me know if anything, what, you, what your opinion of my cards are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, you know, I like hearing about what you guys think about my cards and stuff, and your opinion. Since your opinion does matter to me. Since I like, since you guys tend to know a lot more stuff than I do. Uh, next up on the list, another card I put on my camera in my booster box of Power of the Elements. We got my copy of Sprite Blue. This card is currently worth about forty-six dollars. I haven't pulled any other copy of Sprite Blue, and so I haven't been able to put it, play the deck, which is why I'm still in a um, uh, what's it called, a top loader. Since I don't own any other copies of Swipe Blues, and I didn't want to take it out and potentially lose it or damage it until it's in this proper deck where I can damage it all day long without a care in the world. Because I don't really care about the condition of my cards for the most part. I like really the cards that I'm planning on playing in deck, in a deck because that's just what the nature of cards are. But if the card I'm planning on keeping like on the shelf for like years without selling, then I care more about that stuff. Or if I'm planning on trading away or selling it, or whatever. But if like, it's being played in the deck, I don't really care too much about it. Um, but yeah, Sprite Blue was super hyped to pull on camera. I was kind of hoping to pull more of it, but we only pulled the one so far, which kind of is still pretty cool, though, to be honest with you. Excuse me. I just wish I had, like, two more copies I could actually play the deck. Next up on the list is a card that I pulled in a short, being my Astrograph Sorcerer from Tactical Masters. This card, um, this is Cogner Rare. Um, currently worth about nineteen dollars, and just a really good card. Um, I lost this card for a while, but it turned out to be in this Eternatus ETV back here where I put all my other stuff cards that I have ran randomly there in the house. So I was able to find it, which is super awesome because I lost it. To be honest with you, but um, yeah, um, I thought of playing this card in my Zark deck, but I didn't. So it's kind of staying the top loader for now until I figure out what to do with it. Still a really good card though. Next up for the collector of train, being Armades the um, Majestus Moon Maiden uh, from Genesis Impact Collector Rare, currently worth about thirty five dollars. And to be honest, um, I do plan on playing this card in my um my what is it called um Majestus um Libermancer deck because I feel that Majestus and Libermancer work really well together. So I plan on playing this card in that deck, but I'm not I'm sure if I want to use this version of it, my collector version, or if I want to use the um, other cop version that comes in. Since this was my very first collector rare that I pulled at my friend's house, 
when I was looking for a house with my ex before he moved into the place I'm staying currently. But um, yeah, this is my very first CR that I pulled. I got it out of a box and a half of Genesis, Genesis Impact that I got for like $50 from a comic book store. Since they were trying to get rid of the box, they had a box and a half they're trying to get rid of. And they offered, they made a deal with me and offered it to me for like a, um, $50. So I bought it and pulled this from the booster box, which is super awesome. Next up, from my last CR, um, is from Grand Creators, pulled a Faithful Adventure collector rare. I pulled this one while I at work. I missed joking around with a friend, and I pulled it. So, yeah, that was pretty fun. This card is currently worth around $44. And to be honest with you, I don't see this card going down price ever, anytime soon. Um, like I said, I pulled this card at work while messing around with a friend, telling him that I was going to pull a collector rare. He told me I was going to pull a collector I was like, nah, I don't think I, think I will. And then I ended up pulling one that was like super awesome and funny. Because I always mess with him saying I'm not going to pull something. He told me that I'm going to pull something, like I'm not going to pull it. And then ended up pulling it. So it's really funny to be honest with you. Uh, I also did have a punk um collector rare, but I ended up trading it off to one of one of my subscribers. Since he was um trading away, I was trading him my punk stuff anyways. They asked me if he wanted it. He said yeah. So I ended up trading off to him. This is all I'm planning on using it in Thompson. Next up is the um Pikachu V Max Rainbow Rare from Vid Voltage. This card is about a hundred and twenty dollars. I pulled this while at a party at my house. With my mom, sister, her boyfriend, and then my ex. Me and my ex bought a booster box together of a Voltage looking for this, looking for this car protected, actually. And I ended up pulling it and jumped up from the table to immediately sleeve it. And it was this really funny moment of me running around the house looking for a sleeve to put it in. This card is in pretty much really good condition. Because it's been in this thing for as long as I can remember now. Um, not in this thing, it was like in the top loader. Then I transferred over to this thing once I found one. So yeah, it's really good condition. I will take it out, name take it out, but I don't feel like doing all that. It's much work. So yeah, you got to put the back here actually in the background or something. Lay down like that, I guess. That works. Next up is D Chain Ultimate Rare. I got this card from a subscriber that I didn't. Um, this card was actually a surprise for me. If you didn't watch that trade binder video, that trade video, this card is only like. $2, but I still love it because it's an open rare that I wasn't planning on getting. That really caught me off guard because I didn't know this card came as an ulti. And I love it. And the fact that it was a gift to me means the world to me, to be honest with you. So it's also like one of these little um, top loader things. Because this card is super awesome, to be honest. Like, especially since it was a gift from a subscriber, which i never gotten before. And I honestly think that was super cool. That I was able to be gifted this card. I love it. Next is from the only card fight Vanguard card on card fight Vanguard card on this list that took me so long to find. But I'll be able to find a list before on TCG player. And it is my Blue Storm um Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom. Um I think it's an um, XVR, I don't know what that mean, stands for, but as you see, it's like the gold on it, and it says Aqua Force Supreme Dragon, I mean, Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom, with like the symbol right there in gold. Um, I pulled this card from my very first Vanguard opening on the channel, I believe, and I was freaking out when I pulled it because I didn't know this card existed or that I was going to pull it because I didn't I don't really know too much about Vanguard too much at that point in time like I do now but it took me so long to find a uh, somebody's listing this card on sale because I wasn't able to find it anywhere else this card's currently worth about $100 and I showed it to my friend and he was my friend freaked out about it too who's really big into Vanguard who taught me how to play so this card is super awesome in my collection I need to get one of these little um, protector cases for it at some point, but I haven't been able to find another one. So when I find one, it'll go into that one of those. But I, I love this card a lot. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Stay in my collection forever. Uh, next up, before we get to more my expensive cards, 
we're going to speed run through my binder edition cards that are in binders that don't that um that are not for that are pretty much in my my personal collection first up is my charizard from celebrations closet collection this card is oh, dropped it this card is currently worth about um 89 dollars it's like a copy of the base set um charizard from pokemon base set like i said super wrestling i don't really like charizard but i pulled it before my friend did so you know it's always super funny and i pulled the video too which is kind of cool you know pulling cards in videos is pulling tons of cards in videos is always really fun to do next up we have uh where is it sorry there's like 20 different bindings around me right now we have two copies of misty's determination from pokemon x and y um evolution um full art they are currently worth about nine dollars each and i pulled one of them in a i pulled one i pulled both of them off camera back to back which was super cool um i i don't know why i kept both of them in the binder but i can't really um make myself get rid of them either so i kind of kept keep both of them it's the only card I kept both copies of, even though I have copies of uh, some of the other trainer cards. She's the only one I kept both copies of. Because something that I can't seem to like go over. Because I've thought about it multiple times, I'm going to give her the, sec the second copy. Next up, another full art trainer card being Marty Full Art from Sword and Shield Base Set. This card is currently worth about um, $46. I put this on a card from Walmart with my sister's friends along with the next card in the list being Rainbow Rare Marnie from Sword and Shield Base Set. This card is currently worth about $27. I also put this card on it on the same card ride back to back. I opened up Marnie um the regular the full art Marnie first then I opened up this one out next pack after. I was super hyped in the car already so pulling both of them back to back when they were really expensive or oh when mine was super expensive was super awesome. Not this one, of course. But um, yeah, pulling both of them back to back was super awesome and a really good moment, happy day for me. Could not complain. I guess I'll put, put the binder on camera because I'm pretty sure you guys want to see my binder. Because this is my Fallout Trainer binder. And I'm pretty sure you guys probably would want to see it. So I guess I'll kind of do like that. Ugh, don't, I'm going to do this. That's nah, not gonna work. Uh, put an angle and like an angle. That seems to work actually. But yeah, we also got um, Alistair, Pokemon Center Lady, Skyla, and Acerola. This Skyla card down here is worth about $22. Pull up this one as well. Super cool. Acerola over here is worth about $35. Pulled that also, which um, was super cool. I don't even remember when I pulled most of these cards, but pulling them is still super cool and awesome to me. Uh, next up, we have... Uh, come up, my, top, my iPad's falling over. Next up, if we flip the page over. And slide this like that. Up here, we have Jesse and James. That it works about $35. Which I did not realize was um worth that much. Uh, I think get, get him out of here so you can get a better better view. $35 card. I love this card. I love, I love the energy of this card, especially with the Meowth in background being KO'd. I love it. There's so much energy in that card. Next card is this copy of Lusamine, worth about $38. I'm not getting them out because they're kind of hard to get out in this from this angle. But yeah, we got Lusamine, worth about $38. Um, I don't remember pulling that card either, but still super awesome and pretty. The card that I really want is, I'm not sure if I'm going to up on camera, I was going to show up my iPad. But I really want this Lusamine card from um, Ultra Prism. Because this card's super awesome. And I've been hoping to pull it or find um someone who has it and trade it with me. 
because I really want the card so badly. But I'm planning it, man, I'm just buying it one day at some point, but I really want that card. And I also want the um the Rabbit Star Urshifu Ur VMAX from Battle Styles, the Ult Art, because that would be super cool to have as well. So you have it, let me know, because I'm looking for it. And, uh, most people off the channel though, are here for Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not sure if we'll have it, to be honest. Next up, probably one of my cute card cards in my binder, being the Schoolgirl school girl card. This card is currently worth about like $2, but it's still a really cute card, and I just like her. She's really cute, and really precious, actually. She's like really adorable, and I kind of wanted to point that out. She's really, I think she's just a really cute card. Next up, to the last page of the binder, it's like about four uh, trader cards. We have a peony worth about $20. We also got um, Rapid Strike, um, Single Strike, um, Mustard, Bird Keeper, and then Careless up here also, as well. But Peony from um, Chilling Rings is worth about $20. I like the vibe she's giving off and like the snowy in the background. Oh, snow. You know, I, I don't like the code. But us in the background and her character I love in general. It's because she has a really good character, to be honest. And then we have Janine Full Art from Sword, um, Sunny Moon Unbroken Bonds. Which is worth about twelve dollars, like thirteen dollars, which is a really, really good card I, that I love. I love full trainer cards. They are my bread and butter when it comes to Pokemon collecting. So if you ever want to trade me something, look for full art trainer cards because I'm always looking for those, especially the ones I don't have. And and my what's the card? My um binders. This my Brain Stars binder. I have this card. My Charizard V Max. Oh, my Charizard, Charizard V. Um, I actually didn't forget about this card. I forgot this card actually. So give me a second. T H A R. Charizard. Char. Charizard V. Oh, in the shop. This card is worth from Burn Stars Alt Art. It is worth about 180. And I pulled it on camera as well. Super cool. Um, I don't like Charizard, like I said before, but this card has really nice artwork. And pulling it was kind of a very good rush for me. Cause I, like the artwork. I really like the artwork on it. And for the last bit of cards in the binder, we have... This is my kind of like my stable, my stable binder. The kind of cards that, keep like, that are like hand traps and stuff that I keep in here so I won't lose them. And always have, know where to find them. We got my Ant Blossom up here. We got Joe's um, Spooky Dogwood. Some more hand traps. We have a Power Prosperity from Blazing Vortex, worth about um, $69. We have Ultimate, Ultimate Slayer down here, worth about $24 from probably the Elements I put on camera. And we have Forbidden Jumpers up here as well. Um, I don't think I have this card in here. Yeah, I forgot how much cards worth. But I'm for looking up again. Then we also have an infinite permits, I believe. Yeah, right over here. We have an imperm up here, worth about um thirteen dollars from Structure Deck Cyber Strike. Yes, from Cyber from the Cyber Strike Structure Deck. Worth about thirteen thirteen dollars. And then we also have the um winter cherries, worth about five dollars, but that I pulled from Sunny Victories. Which I don't know, know what Shiny Victories is actually. I don't remember what set that was. But that's it for my binder. And now we're down to the last one, last four cards. These four cards are probably my more exciting slash expensive cards that most people uh, like. That most people want to see in my um, most people that when they see my collection, they want to talk about mostly. Starting off with the first one being, I guess we'll do it this way. 
from most they probably probably from least expensive to most expensive. So for least expensive one of the four, we have my Charizard um V Max ramp um shiny Charizard V Max. I pulled this one from work from a Pikachu V box when I was messing around with my friends well, saying that I would watch people pull a Charizard V Max and ended up pulling it at work during my lunch break. Super awesome, super beautiful card. I don't like Charizard except before, but still a nice card. Gotta admire it. It's currently worth about $125. And I don't see, my, see me letting go to this card anytime soon. So put that back right there, because it's just a super awesome card. Next up, for my third most, uh, most expensive card in this set, we have, for my Yu-Gi-Oh! players out there, my Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl from Ghost from the Past to the Second Hunting. I put this one off camera when I bought um, a display box from TCG Player. And I am very upset that I pulled it off camera because it would been super hyped to pull it on camera. This card is currently worth about $172 on TCG, TCG Player. Um, I When I pulled the card off camera, it was like kind of a really exciting moment and also kind of really sucky because I really wanted to pull it on camera. Could have been a lot more better, a lot better uh, experience and more excitement, but still happy to see that Cindy pulls this card. Maybe my friend kind of jealous about it, but because he, since he was trying to pull this card, but the fact that I pulled it was super awesome. You know, I like pulling cards. Um, and I, made a, I also made a story about it, which got like um a couple hundred views, which is super awesome. Now we get into the two heavy hitters of my collection. The first one being, and the card that probably gives me the most hate from my friend that he'll probably tell you about would be my Rainbow Rare Charizard V Max from Champions Path, currently worth about one um two four two fifteen on TCG Player. He bought me the box that I pulled it from because I ended up pulling a lot of um I didn't have the money at the time. For champion the champions path Gordy and versus is Gordy and somebody box um the one of the gym leaders from Geller it was like Gordy and one of the gym leaders they had a box together and I think it was probably like I think it was maybe been Melanie I think maybe but um I didn't have the money for it because I forgot this set came out well that box was coming out so he ended up buying it for me and there were two boxes and I closed my eyes kind of weighed them both and kind of just picked the box I thought it was gonna be better. And all I wanted from it was the Gardevoir cards and Suspicious Futon. I got the Gardevoir cards I needed, but I didn't get the Suspicious, um, Suspicious Futon. I got Charizard VMAX from the very last pack. And I screamed. I was yelling. I was shaking. I called my friend on, on the video chat to show him this card. And he was, like, so upset about it. And so I kind of just laughing about it. Because, like, I don't like Charizard, but yet I keep pulling Charizards. This was probably my very first really big pull. This was before I started YouTube, by the way. It's like when I was living back off my was living with my mom at the time. But um, this was my very first really big pull, and it was just a really exciting moment for me that my first ever really expensive card went to Charizard of all cards. And think about it to this day when I bring it up to him, he still gets mad about it in a in a funny way, and he will tell you about how much BS that was me pulling this card. So, yeah, and then we have probably my personal favorite card and the card I get the most offers for on a daily basis. No, not a daily basis, probably like a weekly basis. And the most expensive card that I own, that I know of, being my one and only Star, um, Starlight Rare Stardust Dragon from Dana Majesty, worth almost $800. This is single-handedly my most expensive card in my collection. This is the card that I get multiple offers for weekly from different people offering me different things for this card that I will never give up. My plan with this card is to get um, Simo at some point in time to sign this card for me so I can get it graded and hopefully have it in my collection for as long as, as, long as I live. Also, uh, I didn't say this in, about Charizard, but I do plan on getting signed by Real Breaking Nate to get that signed as well since him, since Real Breaking Nate and Simo. Uh, the two people that made me want to do YouTube, since I own a lot of cards anyways, like I open a lot of cards, and seeing them having so much fun opening cards on camera, and just being general, just playing the game they love on cam, like doing what they love on camera, made me want to do YouTube. 
even if it's only just kind of like a, just a side thing to do while I'm in school and working until I'm ready to reach my, my true goal. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get them to sign these cards for me so, and get them graded so they can stay in my collection forever. But I pulled this card after work one day from two packs of Dunder Majesty. This was the only card I wanted from the set. And I pulled it from like, I think like eight packs. I pulled two after work while waiting to be picked up by my ex since I couldn't, since I can't drive. She was going to pick me up and she was running late. So I opened up both of them and she, when she pulled up, I pulled this card and I was screaming and I, want, I was like legit on the verge of like just crying because this is the only card I wanted from that set and I pulled it and I was super happy about it. And to this day, this card is probably my most favorite card that I own above my Swamp Words, my um, Bubble Man, my Charizards, my go um, Dark Magician Girl. Like, I will let any other card go if need if I had to to keep this card in my possession. Like, this is my prized possession card as of right now. This card means everything to me since it was just the memories, the me just wanting this card just in general, and how much I love Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds and Yusei in general. I love this card. The only thing that could possibly top this card is if um, Junk Warrior gets a Starlight Rare. Because I do love Star um Junk Warrior more than Star Stardust Dragon or Power Two Dragon. If one of those two get a Starlight Rare, then I will clearly love those two more than this card. But as of right now, this is my pride and joy of my collection, and it sits at the very top of my shelf in dead center in my um shelf in my collection room. This is my card. This is my child. This is everything to me. To be honest with you. Like if everything else around me comes falling down, I know I can look at this card and smile. Because this is my card that I love. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what your most expensive card is. Or most expensive card or most uh, your private collection card in your collection. Because I love knowing about and seeing really like pretty cards. And just cards in general because I'm really big into cards as, as you can tell. But um, yeah, that's it for my collection. Um, send me pictures of your collection because I love seeing other people's collections. Even if your card is like their collection not even, um as expensive, or even the card is like really beat up, whatever. Cause I own a copy of Power to Dragon that's really beat up that I own and that I got from a friend that I want in a duel. And yeah, I like seeing cards no matter what condition they're in. I just love seeing cards from other people. So let me know your your stories. Um remember to like, comment, subscribe, so we can grow the Galactic Federation and take over YouTube one day. And until next time, this is Jackson signing off.